Okay, let's uh, see some code in action. Okay, yeah. So I have some code uh, pre-written already. Okay, so let me just copy it. Okay, yeah. And then okay, uh, uh, kind of override the whole uh, uh, index uh, action method. Okay, yeah. Then uh, let me give you a brief okay, uh, explanation okay, uh, on the code. So basically, okay, I declare a local variable, okay, uh, I call it uh, a string variable, okay, uh, call it value initialized to uh, empty string. And uh, then I do the check-in here, okay, request that cookies, okay, and then uh, key name, again, you can pick any key name, is fine. Okay. So I want to see okay, whether uh, from the uh, client's browser has any quick cookie with their name been set or not. If it's nothing, okay, no, means that uh, the browser does not uh, have a cookie with this uh, key name okay, at all. Okay. Then I'm going to set the value okay, to okay, the name and then assume that a grace is from this, this, uh, this uh, zip code. And then I will assume that I will assume that uh, this is the, uh, uh, the value is set okay, at the first visit eight uh, the time, okay, uh, this format will display the uh, hour, okay, minutes and second, okay. And then again, okay, then I can use the uh, response dot cookies dot append and pick a key and then the value, okay, to set uh, the uh, cookie, okay, to send this information back to the browser. Then the browser, okay, uh, once upon uh, receive this information, then it will set the, uh, the section cookie temporarily, okay? However, okay, however, if, okay, if, okay, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, response, okay, from the, uh, the uh, browser back to the server, if there is a key, okay, with, if there is a cookie with this key already, then all I need to do is just retrieve it, okay? I'm not going to modify it, I just want to read it. And then I okay, uh, edited okay, uh, this okay, uh, kind of a note okay, that, uh, hey, this is the old cookie value okay, uh, retrieved, okay? Yeah, uh, to the uh, index dash sharp view, okay? And then let me do the modification on the view, okay? Yeah, so this is the view created by the software, but then uh, I'm going to do a little bit okay, uh, uh, changes here, okay? So let me see, there you go. So basically I set up a model, okay, to indicate that, hey, this view, okay, will receive the uh, uh, whatever action method, okay, with a string value passing in, and then I want to, okay, I'll retrieve the value, okay, so, okay, your name is da 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 da, -da okay, along with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the zip code and time, okay, and then also, okay, I set up okay, kind of uh, another okay, option to remove the cookie, okay, yeah. And also, okay, uh, another uh, anchor link uh, to show you that okay, uh, the cookie can be shared by views, okay, or uh, a different controller, okay. So let's okay, run it, okay, let's run it first, okay, yeah. So it's running, okay, yeah. All right, so it shows that, okay, uh, at the client side, you will show something like this. Okay, uh, your name is Grace with this zip code and the value okay, uh, set at the first visit at this time. Okay, so again, let me take a, a screenshot. Okay, let me take a screenshot. Okay, yeah. And then okay, if I do okay, a kind of revisit, okay, do a revisit, then you can see that ha. Uh, the code okay, here okay, will take place. Okay, so let me, yeah, yes, there you go. Okay, so let me show you okay, what's going on. So once it's revisit, okay, then uh, they, okay, the client okay, will send back a cookie with this key, okay, username. So okay, the if part okay, uh, uh, will be failed. Okay, so the else part okay, will be the code in the else part will be executed. And basically I just retrieve okay, uh, uh, this okay, uh, same name, okay? This same value in the um, name uh, in the cookie with this key, okay? And then okay, I uh, again get okay, uh, same uh, back with the view indicated, hey, the value okay, uh, in this cookie okay, is old uh, cookie value, okay? And then similarly, okay, similarly again, I can, uh, reload it one more time, okay, or uh, revisit the uh, 
uh, same in index action methods, okay, one more time, it will show the same value, okay? And then also, okay, I can use this, uh, okay, uh, inspect method, okay? And then go to the application, okay, and then select the uh, cookie, okay? Select the cookie, then you can see that, okay? You can see that, okay? Uh, uh, let me try this one. You can see that uh, there is a, what, a section cookie been set, okay? And then okay, uh, again, this will be the value. Okay, uh, you can even see the value. Okay, yeah, you can even see the value. Uh, show okay, uh, URL decoded. Okay, print it. Okay, yeah, print it. So this is what's going on. Okay, and then uh, if okay, I uh, click the remove cookie, okay, the app will crash. Okay, because I hadn't uh, code okay, that uh, action method yet. Okay, yeah. So okay, uh, let me okay. Uh, go back here to get to code the action method, okay? So again, okay, I have the uh, code okay, pre-written already, okay? So let me uh, paste okay, next to the uh, index action method. So the uh, action method, I call it uh, remove cookie, okay? And then again, uh, according to the uh, okay, PowerPoint uh, slides okay, here, okay, yeah. PowerPoint slides here. So it indicated if you want to delete a cookie, then you can call response.cookies.delete and then with the cookie key get picked by you. Okay, yeah. So this is uh, uh, what I'm trying to do over here. Get okay? delete the cookie with the key, get username, and then get okay, uh, the view. Okay, uh, okay I will get just get okay, uh, go uh, re display the uh, uh, index okay, C sharp view. Okay. All right, okay, so okay, uh, let me run it. Okay, let me run it, yeah. So you can see that this is the first visit, okay, and then you might do a reload, okay, then okay, uh, this is not the first uh, visit anymore, okay, yeah, because there's a cookie being set, okay, uh, already, okay, and then again, do a reload, okay, will be the same. And then I can again okay, uh, click the inspect, right click the mouse button and pick inspect, go to the application, okay, and then show the cookie. Okay, this will be the cookie value. And then now I can click the uh, remove. Okay, so let me enlarge the screen a little bit. Yeah, so I can click the remove cookie okay, uh, button here. Let's see what's going to happen. So boom, I mean, cookie is gone. So you can see that, I mean, no cookie, okay? But if I do, okay, uh, revisit, okay, on this okay, homepage, then the cookie will be set, okay, for the first time, okay? Yeah, so next one, okay, I'm going to show you that, okay, a cookie can be shared, okay, among uh, controllers as well, okay? Yeah, so, okay, again, if I click this one, then it won't work since I hadn't uh, created the code yet, okay? So let me create the uh, a new controller, okay? And then let me call it the uh, product, okay? Product controller, okay? So product controller, click add. And then get okay, uh, in the, uh, again, get okay, in the uh, controller. Okay, yeah, I want to do something, again, something simple, nothing fancy at all, okay? So let me override the index action method, okay, yeah. Okay, so, okay, I declare a local variable, okay, uh, of string data type, okay, and I set it to uh, no cookie value, okay? But then, get okay, I want to do the check-in, okay? If, okay, if okay, the browser, okay, uh, has uh, sent in a cookie with the name, okay, uh, username, okay. Then I want to retrieve okay, the value stored in that cookie and I want to display it okay, in my the index view, okay, under the uh, uh, product controller, okay. So I need to create a view, okay. Let me do that now, okay, yeah. So this will be the view, okay, under the product controller, okay, yeah. Same, okay, uh, index C sharp view will be fine, okay, yeah. All right, okay, so again, get okay, to keep things simple, okay. I have the, uh, okay, I have the code okay, uh, pre-written already as well, okay, yeah. So it's pretty much similar to the uh, index view, okay, under the home controller, okay. 
But then uh, over here, I indicated that this is the view okay, under the uh, product controller. Okay, yeah. So, okay, let's run it. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so, yeah. so let me run the app. Okay. So again, okay, uh, this is the first time okay, uh, the user okay, uh, visit uh, uh, or request this page. Okay, so the server just okay, uh, set the cookie okay, with okay, this uh, time value. Okay, so let me copy, screenshot it. Okay, yeah, and then okay, how about okay? Okay, they say uh, if okay, the user okay. Uh, refresh okay, the page, okay, then it's not, is no longer, okay, uh, the uh, uh, empty cookie, okay, so cookie has been set already, and then if we compare the time, okay, it is okay, the same value, okay, it is same value, and similarly, okay, uh, can the uh, cookie value, okay, uh, been shared among okay, uh, controllers, okay, such as okay, product controller, okay, let's check it out, okay, yeah. There we go. Okay, so you can see that uh, this is the uh, product controller, right? And then you can retrieve the uh, same cookie value as well. Okay, yeah, the same cookie value as well. Okay, stored at the client's browser. Okay, yeah. So it has the same time value. Okay, yeah, totally same time value. And then I can go back to the home controller. Okay, there you go. Okay, and then okay, similarly, okay, I mean, I can. Uh, remove the cookie, okay? Yeah, I have shown you how to remove the cookie already, so I'm not going to do that, okay? Okay, however, okay, I want to mention that, okay, this is the uh, section cookie, which means that it's temporarily, okay, the cookie will be uh, valid, okay, once the current browser is still open, but then, okay, if I okay, close the browser, they see what's going to happen, okay? So let me okay, uh, copy this okay, web address, okay? And then let me fire up the browser while the uh, IS okay, web server is still running. Let me paste the URL, okay, uh, to visit the web application, okay? There you go. So you can see that okay, uh, it shows okay, that the date is the first visit. And then if you compare the time, okay, uh, this is okay, 430, the old one is 428. Okay, so which means that uh, once okay, uh, again, okay, uh, you close the browser, then get okay, under the, okay, uh, okay, let me show you the information, okay, under the uh, section cookie setting, okay, section cookie setting, then okay, uh, the duration of the browser is gone. If you click the uh, the, the uh, close okay, uh, browser okay, option, okay, then the information will be gone. Okay, so the next question you might want to have okay, will be okay. Then okay, how do I set the uh, uh, persistent cookie? Okay, so we're going to see okay, how to do that. Okay, so we're going to see how to set the uh, a persistent cookie. Okay, yeah. So let me stop the video.